Hey hey, Marcus House with you here and welcome to episode 10 in our quick progression series. Today we're continuing where we left off in episode 9. We're on our way to Minmus, we've got our mobile processing lab on board and we're coming to get some big science. We left off with a high circularized orbit around Kerbin and we're just about to do our injection burn into a Minmus orbit. So we'll just set up our Minmus encounter burn and we'll warp around to our maneuver node which is eight days away. This is quite a long orbit we're on now. And a small 60 meters per second burn is going to get us there. There we go. Just setting up the encounter here so that our periapsis is, uh, is quite low. We'll get in quite close. And we'll warp into our periapsis marker. And we've picked up a milestone here on our Minmus flyby. And of course we've just completed our Minmus flyby contract as well. And just warping into the periapsis point will reduce our, uh, our apoapsis here, bring us down to an orbit. And I'm just going to bring this down to around 20 kilometers out. That'll do. Around 23 kilometers either side. Now we're just going to grab a crew report. We'll send that back. We'll go, grab a second crew report and we'll actually store the science in the lab. 110 science there you'll see. Now because we've previously done experiments with our material bay and our goo units, we can actually now right click our mobile processing lab and choose clean experiments so that we can clean those back out and restore them for, for new use. So we've also completed a few more milestones, we've entered an orbit of Minmus and we've also sent science back from around Minmus. So we're just waiting until our, uh, our cleaning here has been completed. It takes a little while to clean these out. And there we go. So you can actually do this as many times as you want to in your mission. So we'll just do an EVA and we'll pick up our EVA report. And we'll just reboard. Now we're going to transmit this straight back first and we'll grab a second one so that we can store that in our mobile processing lab. So right click review stored data and we can grab 180 science there by storing it in our lab and processing it that way. We'll grab the material bay, there's 560 science there to store. Of course we can grab the rest of our experiments here as well. Seeing as though this is the first time we've been in orbit around Minmus, these are all fresh experiments. We'll just grab the pressure data and transmit that. Grab the temperature and transmit that. Goo units, and we'll transmit that as well. So now we're going to start storing it in our lab. We're going to we're going to store the crew report. We're going to log temperature. We're going to store that. We're going to log our pressure data. We'll do the 270 storage in our lab there. And we'll just clean the experiments out again. There we go. So we'll just jump out and do an EVA. Lanina doing some great EVA science here for us. Now we can do these EVA reports on every biome on Minmus and in fact any other body in the game. So we've transmitted one here and we're just going to grab another and store it in our lab. So there's 180 science there. So we're just going to search now for some more biomes to do EVA reports over. So just checking out our map. Anywhere that's kind of different looking all the separated flat areas of Minmus, as an example, are all generally their own biome. There we go, do an EVA report there. And this is Minmus Flats. We'll keep that and we'll reboard. We'll store that. We'll quickly do another EVA again, grab that. We'll transmit it this time. So we're really getting a good double whammy of science here. We're transmitting it, and then of course we're storing it in our lab and processing it separately. So again, we've time warped into a new biome. This is the Midlands. We'll do our reports here. 
And then, of course, keep searching for new biomes and do this as many times as you can. Now, of course, you can jump on the Kerbal Space Program wiki and you can actually look up where all the biomes are on each body. There's also some great mods like Kerbal Engineer which will tell you which biomes are over at any time. So we'll do an EVA here and we'll do our, uh, our report here. This is the Great Flats. We'll store that in our lab. We'll do an EVA, we'll grab a second lot. Actually, this biome would be a good one to land in and, uh, and conduct a lot of our surface science experiments. So we'll just transmit this one. Now again, you can do this as many times as you want. You can actually put yourself in a polar orbit. That way you can get some of the, uh, the polar science experiments as well. So that we can move this episode along though, we won't do that now. We'll, uh, we'll actually come in and land. Now we just picked up our spacewalk milestone. And we're just warping around to uh, to start our landing burn. So just on our approach to the Great Flats, in we come. Just turning retrograde, we'll uh, do our burn, wipe off most of our speed. The gravity on Minmus is actually really low, so you only need a very small thrust to weight ratio to uh, to wipe off your speed. Much less than the Moon, as an example. So we'll just wipe off this last bit of speed and we'll just switch on our landing light so that we can see easier as we're approaching the ground. Slowly, slowly, just ever so slightly adjusting our velocity with control and shift, just tapping those keys. And touch down. You can see how little gravity there really is here. It's extremely easy, so we'll turn our lights off. Now we're going to start doing some more science. We're going to check out a material bay. So here's 775 science. Now that is a huge amount. So we're going to store that. Now if you right click your mobile processing lab, you can actually see how much data we've got left to, uh, to fill. So the limit here is 750. Now we've used 729, so it's basically full. We can't store anything more in here now. And we actually haven't even picked up any of the science and stored it from here except for that one material bay study. So we're just going to transmit as much science now as we can back to Kerbin, just so that that's out of the way. So we've grabbed the mystery goo units there, we'll just grab the temperature, send that back to Kerbin, and we'll log the pressure data and we'll send that back as well. Log our seismic data. And actually you'll see we've got an issue with our electric charge, there's no power left. So we'll just time warp until our electric charge fills back up again. Now, seismic data is actually really large. It takes a lot of power to send that back. So if we attempt to send that now, you'll see it doesn't work. We just can't transmit enough to send it back in one go with our current batteries. But we can right-click our antenna and choose the Allow Partial Mode. And now when we transmit, it's going to actually transmit just small chunks at a time. And it will eventually transmit all the signs. You'll see here we don't have enough power. But if we just time warp a little, you'll see it will actually eventually send the entire lot of signs back. Now you may lose one or two science points doing a partial send, but you can then just do another send again after that. So we're just sending back any other science we can. So here's our pressure data, send that. We'll just check that mystery goo again. Nothing much there, but we'll just send that little bit back anyway. And we'll just time warp again, just so that we can fill our batteries back up. Solar panels recharging there. Okay. So we'll do a crew report, send that back. And we'll just jump out and do our EVA. Popping out there, we'll turn on our RCS by pressing the R key. Just come in for a nice gentle landing. Minmus has got a very low gravity again, so we can just float down. We'll just turn our lights on this time. We can do that with the L key. We'll do an EVA report, we'll keep that, we'll grab our surface sample and we'll keep that. And of course we'll plant our flag. Great flats. And we'll just float back over and pop back into our vessel. So even though we can't store any of this in our lab at the moment, we can um, pop back out after our research in our lab's complete and we can pick all this back up again and then do it separate. Just cleaning out our experiments again. Now you can see here just from these couple of experiments we've got 250 and another 930 to add to the lab. So we're just going to pop out here, do another EVA, 
and we're going to uh, we'll speed this up a little bit so we're not sitting through it but we're going to um, to grab another uh, surface sample another EVA report and uh, and we'll pop back in the lab here so we've now got this science here ready to go in the lab again for when it's uh, it's empty enough to do so for the moment though we're just going to time warp until uh, we get ourselves back into daylight again so now the fun part we can actually right click our lab and we'll see that it uh, it's obviously full of data but we can uh, click the uh, start research option here and our two scientists on board are going to get very busy and they're going to start processing all this data into science that we can transmit back to Kerbin. Now again, the higher skill level your scientists are, the faster they'll process data. As it is at the moment, they're doing about nine and a half per day, so we can time accelerate until we've got as much science as we want to send back. Now as the science is processed, you can see the data is slowly ticking down as well. Not as fast as the science is going up, but the data is ticking down as well. Once your data is down around halfway, keep filling it up with more experiments because the more data they've got, the faster they'll actually process science. Now after you've completed all the science you possibly can in this biome, jump to another biome, there's plenty of fuel here. And we can keep on processing and processing and processing all this science until there's nothing left on Minmus to pick up. After we're finished we'll send a rescue craft to retrieve these guys. And of course once you're done with Minmus you can do the same thing on the moon or Duna or wherever. So we've done a heap of milestones again, we've done a suborbital space flight, we've landed on the surface, we've walked on the surface and we've planted a flag on the surface as well. So we're just going to head back to our space center. So all of the science that we've already transmitted back has accumulated quite a bit. We've now got 803 science sitting here to use. And we've got loads more to send once it's processed back up on Minmus. So the next problem we're actually going to have is with funds. We want to unlock some more of our building tiers so that we can research some more awesome parts. I just wanted to thank you all for your support of this channel so far. If you have any questions for me, please do whack them down in the comments below. Thank you very much to all of those who have subscribed. For those that haven't though, please do subscribe, do support the channel. Follow me on Twitter at Marcus House Game, and we'll see you in the next video. So we'll just bring out our solar panels here. And we're going to do a temperature scan and hit our yellow button here, which is process in the lab. Now that's 45 science right there. So we'll just drop this stage of our rocket. Now we'll just log our temperature again and we'll actually transmit it back. Even though there's no science to actually transmit back, this will still complete our mission.